Hello everyone, I guess you know, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we're here with a video on how the price of maxing an old school runescape is dangerously cheap. Lost my cursor there for a minute. Personally, I maxed an account about eight to nine months ago and I did a lot of my buyables a little over a year ago. So I wanted to make a video where I go back and kind of estimate what the prices I was paying a year ago are compared to the current market. Now I've been playing on my Iron Man a lot and that's been really enjoyable, but I've noticed that a lot of these skilling supplies markets have just been absolutely getting demolished. So I want to take a look at that, kind of give you guys my thoughts on it and what the approach should be to it. So to start, as far as what I think, the reason is that a lot of prices are dropping just across the board. I made a video about a week ago kind of demonstrating that armors were doing the same thing. Armors have just been absolutely tanking the last few months and so as far as what I think the contributing factors are to the overall market crash, a lack of new gear could be a factor because people are putting less money into gear and more money into other places like skills. Bot farming or gold farming, essentially anyone that's just farming this to sell it for money, those are always going to be a problem. Jagex struggles with them, but they do what they can. Personally, I'm an Iron Man, so I, I go to a lot of the skilling supply areas in the game, and I've noticed that there have been a lot of bot waves going on where these places are just packed to the brim for maybe a few months even longer on end lately they've kind of gotten weeded out and that happens whenever something gets botted far too low it kind of just alerts jx that something's going on and then they go there and solve it from there it's not preemptive but they do kind of try to rein it back and finally, JX not balancing tables is another factor. An example of this is the Zolcano boss, which was essentially just something that pumped smithing supplies into the game at an unprecedented rate. I understand wanting to make something viable, but there was no need to make it that good. Eventually, they ended up nerfing it, but the game's still been crushed since. And I think those are all partially to blame along with other alternative factors, too many of which I could go on and name. With that though, let's go ahead and get into the price breakdown. So went through every buyable skill in my opinion. There are some that you could add, some that you could take away if you'd like, but I just figured this would be a good example of what an average person might do. To start with range, the method here is Wretch and Champas. On the left hand side we have an XP breakdown. Here I'll be going from level 70 to 99 in all of these skills because I think 1 to 70 is pretty subjective on how you do it and it's not a large chunk of the game's XP. There's a lot of variables there so I'm just going to break down the late game where a lot of the skilling will happen. With these, you can get 625k XP per hour and it'll take you about 20 hours to get to 99. The supplies needed will be about 29.5 thousand chins from 70 to 99. And for the cost breakdown right now, that costs you about 33.3 mil. A year ago, it was 48.1. So here already, we've seen that in a year's time, you could have saved yourself 15 mil just by waiting it out. Obviously, a year ago, it's still more beneficial to have spent the money then and gotten your range up, but it does show how much of an opportunity people have now that haven't gotten their range up, because that is a really cheap price to get all of that range DPS in a really short amount of time. For prayer, I'm going to be using a Dragon Bones at the Chaos Altar example. Um, the XP per hour here, maybe 400k. It's very subjective. Prayer is something that you can train a lot quicker if you'd like, or really slow if you're into that. About 30 hours from 70 to 99, and in total, you'll need about 244 thousand dragon bones that is assuming again the chaos altar which halves the amount of dragon bones needed the total cost for 99 right now is 35.3 mil and a year ago it was a double that price at 70.6 so the total difference is 35.3 mil and keep in mind if you weren't using the chaos altar the difference would be 70.6 mil total in a year which is just absurd like <laughs> It's so crazy, and I can tell you that Dragon Bones have been heavily botted. These things went from almost 3k to below 1.5, essentially. I was trying to show one of my buddies how to make some money, and I thought that green dragons were good, and then I went there, and every single world had three or four bots. I hopped through 10 worlds, every single world was packed, all bots, and then I looked at the graph, and it all made sense. For construction, we'll be assuming oak dungeon doors. You can get about 500k XP per hour with this, so it's a pretty quick 99. You'll need about 205,000 oak planks total and the cost now is 95 mil and a year ago it was 130 mil a total difference of 35 mil now proportionally this isn't as bad but the oak planks and all of the construction game is surrounded by prices that are kind of set in stone so something swinging that much is, is still pretty tough for herb lore we'll be assuming super defenses people vary what they do for herb lore potions quite a lot so it's up to you take you about 37 hours to get from 70 to 99 and you'll need 81.5 thousand total potions 
Now the current price for that is 84 mil and a year ago it was 134. So here again, you can see a 50 mil difference, a massive difference again, just, it's also crazy to look at. And I mean, I'm not picking and choosing stuff you know, that fits this, it is all just kind of random, whatever I would personally do right now. Like earlier, I added the chaos altar into the prayer method. Like I'm trying to make these look somewhat respectable and it is still hard. Next is crafting and air battle staffs. This one really shook me. This takes about 36 hours from 70 to 99, a lot like herb lore, and you'll need close to 90,000 staffs total. And the current price is 18 mil, 18 mil. That's like one, that's 1 1.5 GP per XP. GP per XP is kind of just a, a sweaty ratio thing that people use, but it used to be like between five to 10 was your crafting GP per XP. So like, you know, getting to 99 from 70 would cost you 60, maybe 120 mil. Now, <laughs> 18 and a year ago it was 70 mil and air battle staffs are kind of the meta that's what i would use personally i like them a lot and the difference being 51 mil here i mean it's just absurd this one was really crazy i was i mean i just go for 200 mil crafting if i ever wanted to do that right now is the time i'd imagine <laughs> like does it get much cheaper than this i don't know for fletching i decided to use adamant darts because i figured that was a, a really quick way to bust this out and spend a decent amount of gp uh here this takes 12 hours and would take you about 820,000 darts and the total cost right now is 78 mil and a year ago it was 84 mil so that one's not a big difference six mil it doesn't really illustrate the point of the market going down very well because adamant dart tip prices are very heavily correlated with adamant bar prices which are just a high alk value type of thing what they can be turned into an alk for so these things aren't going to change much and even then they still went down six mil for something that's basically tied to alk value which isn't a good sign either smithing i mentioned this in the beginning but uh gold ore is what we will assume kind of the faster route about smithing where you spend money but it's just so worth it but in total it takes 38 hours from 70 to 99 if you use gold bars 546,000 total bars and the cost right now is 32 mil a year ago it was 98 mil a total difference is 66 again a massive massive decrease in the overall price of smithing just broken record at this point everything is so cheap it's it, it's honestly crazy it's crazy there's so many skilling supplies just being pumped into the market and then finally to round it out farming i decided just to look at palm saplings because I, I don't know what sort of farming run everyone's doing that's a very subjective skill so as far as how many saplings you would need if you were just doing fruit tree runs from 70 to 99 1210 palm saplings and right now that costs you 30 mil and a year ago it was 51. so even with farming again a massive decrease total of 21 mil just <sighs> across the board honestly there is not one buyable skill in this video that we saw that went up in the total cost to do it is that something to be sad about i don't know if you need to max i mean it would seem to be a good thing but if you're looking to sell skilling supply items to the market then you're, you're probably not in a good spot so as far as the total cost of what you could expect to spend on buyables last year it was 685 mil which pretty penny that's quite a bit not not a twisted bow level but about a scythe so you know a good bit of money this year it is at 405 mil total decrease of 280 mil which is crazy and about a 41 percent decrease overall in price so as far as how much has the cost of maxing drop it has been an absurd amount i mean i couldn't imagine this going much lower like imagine if you could spend two to three hundred mil and then max your account with some of the quickest methods in game it's really crazy. I don't think we'll get that far. I surely hope not. Um, at the end of the day, I think Jagex is always going to try to help stimulate the economy and keep it in a good spot. So I don't think it'll get that cheap. I definitely recommend if you got any skills you want to do, any stuff you want to get up, that now is going to be the time to do that. Personally, I would be all about it if I was on an account that could trade, but you know, Iron Man, by the way. So yeah, it's a really interesting time right now. And like I said before, there's really no one thing you can point the finger at. I think it's kind of a culmination of a lot of things. I don't think we'll stay in this space forever. At least that's not typically how this stuff works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, anything you want to see from me, let me know in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. Also other links you can support me at down below and i'd appreciate it greatly but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh peace